What's going on everybody? Today we'll be playing some Kirby's Dream Land 2. Cause, you know, I feel like playing a little bit of a bigger game that isn't just like, get the highest score. So we are playing this on the Nintendo Switch Online. A Game Boy application. And let's just start at level one, file one. So we're in the grassland right now, pretty cool. So I have 100% to this game before, but I haven't done it in honestly quite a bit. So you know, so yeah, this is Kirby's Dream Land 2. Very similar to Kirby's Dream Land 1, but you will notice that there are some differences. So it controls pretty much identical to Kirby's Dream Land 1. But now you see that we have these star things. Stars function like coins in Mario. Collect enough of them, then you get an extra life. Although you only need seven in this game. Now, another difference between this and Kirby's Dream Land 1 is copy abilities. Everyone knows copy abilities from Kirby. Now, while this game didn't introduce copy abilities, I like the way that this game did it because there aren't a lot and they can combine with the animal buttons. Kirby's Adventure had pretty good copy abilities too, but I think there were a little too much and most of them are kind of horrible. Like honestly, some somebody comment down below if you actually like abilities like light or ball. And I jumped into the Waddle Dee. That's fine. We got an extra life. It's level one. The end of level one. Let's see if I remember how to time this. I did not. But, you know, getting a star isn't that bad. All right. Grassland, level two. I actually think fire is better than parasol, so I'll get that. This is Fire Ball in Kirby's Adventure. Because honestly, fire kind of sucks in Kirby's Adventure. Okay. I don't remember what these enemies are called, so... You'll have to remind me. Or I'll have to remind myself, I should say. But he's pretty much just like me. Except my fire is better than his fire. Now the hard part is I can't hit him when he's by the wall. Because I'm going to bounce into him. And I do not want to do that. So we'll just do it like this. Come to think of it, I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to do it like this. Okay then. Or I could put my foot in my mouth and an egg on my face. But, oh well. Alright, now we got the actual gimmick of Kirby's Dream Land 2. Rick the Hamster. And there, there are also other animal buddies, but Rick is the first one you see. Now when you have Burning with Rick, it functions like the fire ability from Kirby's Dream Land 1. Or Kirby's Adventure, I should say. Because that's the correct game. So I'm not too much of a fan of this, but I do like the extra health that Rick gives you. Rick is honestly the weakest one for Animal Buddies. If you really think about it. He's very slow. He can't jump infinitely like Kirby and Kai wasn't paying attention. Alright, he can't jump as much as like Kirby and Kai and Kirby and Kua. Um, and he can't really swim like Kai, so he's pretty much just a slightly, honestly, I think he might be a worse version of Kirby on the ground. Now, if you're like a Kirby expert, and you know some like weird technique that only Rick can do, 
I guess I would be open to hearing about it. Okay, there's the Maxim Tomato. Everyone loves a Maxim Tomato. Wait, is this the level with the... with the Rainbow Drop? Come down here. I want to make an olive. Although it does still have the chick in it, so it would be more like making a baloo. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Well, like, you know what I'm talking about. The egg with the, like, chick still forming inside of it. Okay. But now, we got our first rainbow drop out of seven... is kind of it's a it's a drop in the bucket but it's a good drop in the bucket it's a very shallow bucket come on I think I might have to ditch Rick here no I won't ditch Rick I'm ditching Rick Okay, that has to be good. I was going to say that has to be at least decent, but I mean, I'm definitely open to getting the maximum. <laughs> yeah, it's still happening, by the way. If you've seen the Star Soldier video. So now we're on the boss of level one already, because there are only three levels. This is Wispy Woods. I'm pretty sure you've heard of him. He's in like every Kirby game. But he used to be wearing a mask, and is he going to... Oh, he's not going to extend his roots out like he normally does. <laughs> Alright. So now that I did that, I'm out of World 1. There still is something I should do here. So we're going to go back. You gotta do the bonus chance. You gotta do it perfectly in order to 100% this game. This one isn't that bad. Definitely the most annoying one is... I think... I can't even remember what the most annoying one was. I think it was the water one. Yeah, my controller's at low battery. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. And I'm getting some lives. Collecting lives like they're... No, 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 no. Okay. Did I do it? Perfect. There we go. Extra life. I think I can make it past World 2 as well in this video, just because World 2 isn't that big either. Despite being called the Big Forest. Ooh, Kirby seems a little bit angry at Koo. This one also just has three levels and a boss. Now, the boss in Big Forest is slightly more difficult than the boss in World 1, as it usually is in video games. Though not all the time, because like in Punch-Out, Mr. Sandman's harder than Super Macho Man. We got Burning again, let's go. Okay, come on. Scarfy, get out of here. Alright, now we got Koo. Koo is pretty interesting. He kind of turns the game into a space shooter. I love me my space shooters. Oh, 
Okay, now I could get Cutter there, but I don't think I need it yet. <laughs> I'm trying not to do that, but, like, it's pretty difficult. And I think kind of sniffling during allergy season is more forgivable than going <sighs> mouth breathing. At least to me. I would, I would imagine it's that way for most people. Okay, so we got some Gordos in this level. Gordos aren't that bad in this game. It's not like Kirby's Dream Land 1 where they would, like, kill you in one hit. <sighs> okay, okay. Alright, Scarfy. I'll get it this, uh... I think those are actually, like, energy drinks. I've heard that somewhere. It's not like medicine or water or anything. Kirby Kirby drinks a Gatorade and then he he's back at full health. Okay, so let's try avoiding this Gordo because I want to keep Cutter. Cutter is really like the space shooter weapon. I flubbed that up. Or not. I'm just a horrible judge at these bonus games. We're already at nine lives. Kirby isn't exactly the hardest game in the world to do. Especially because you could just do this for like the whole level. And I mean, I'm not complaining. It's something in the game. You might as well be able to use it. Get out of here, chicks. If, if you think it's weird that Koo is beating up chicks, just think. You, you eat beef, right? And you eat pork. And those are both mammals. So just because these things are both birds doesn't mean it's like weird. It's not like he's killing his children. Or I would assume most people eat beef and pork. There's still like some subset of vegetarians. I'm going to have to ditch this ability because I'm just going to get it back anyway. Now, I want to keep Koo because this is another 100% in the game kind of thing. But if you beat in mini boss, if you beat a mini boss with an animal buddy, then you get this guy Gooey. Gooey just heals you to full, but occasionally his girlfriend will show up. And by occasionally, I mean, like, there's, like, a 12% chance, I think, that Gooey's girlfriend shows up instead of him. You could fact check me about that, but I'm pretty sure it's 12%. And if his girlfriend shows up, you get, like, 1% completion. So you'll be stuck at 99 until you find him. Or if you, until you find her. And it's already the end of level three. Honestly, these levels all kind of just blend together. At least in the big forest when you have to. Yeah, it's three. All right, we're now on to boss two, Nruff and Nelly. Is this hitting him? Is hitting the rough. I don't know, but definitely using one of the Nellies to hit the rough is better. If using all right, then I was gonna say if using one Nelly to hit the rough is good, then using two Nellies to hit the rough is even better. Of course, three Nellies would be ideal, but you know how it is. Yeah, there we go. Two Nellies and Ruff is down for the count. 
So now, now what's going to happen is I'm going to attempt this bonus area, and then I'll call it for this Let's Play. I will make a part two of this later, so stay tuned for that. Let's see how I do. No, 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 no. All right, then. I at least got a life, but I lost the bonus chance, so I'm going to have to attempt that later. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. And we'll see what next time brings.